Hello my friend, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a really interesting question. We need to rate this expression. We have square root of 2 minus 1 to the 12th power. And a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, right here we have square root of 2. So we have right here square root of 2 minus 1. We raise these to the 12th power. And a lot of students say, okay mister, right here we need to multiply this expression by each other so 12 times. So we have square root of 2 minus 1 times square root of 2 minus 1 times a lot of these expressions and the last one is 12th one we have square root of 2 minus 1 and a lot of students solve this question like that they multiply this equ equation by by this question by each other 12 times but just imagine you can multiply for example these two parentheses with square root but you will have like the third one the fourth one the first one so it's really hard to work with that it's it's a good approach but it's really really hard to solve this challenge quickly according to this approach and in this video i'm going to show you a really great trick how can we solve this challenge so just keep in mind this approach but i'm going to show you this one first of all let's call this expression so let's call this square of 2 minus 1 as x okay so right here this square root of 2 minus 1 let's call this expression as x and basically if this expression is x so if we need to find x to the 12th power so the next we need to find x to the 12th power we need we need to find it okay so right now square root of 2 minus 1 equal to x right now let's change position right here so let's bring this x on the left and this one goes to the right side as a result what do we have right here we have x equal to square root of 2 minus 1. So we change nothing, we just we just change position. Right here, let's bring this minus 1 from our right side to left side. As a result, what do we have right here? We have x plus 1 equal to, equal to square root of 2. Really great. Right now, let's square the both sides. We have right here square root of 2. That we will cancel this square root sign. It helps us a lot. So let's raise both sides to the power, to the second power. So we have x plus 1. We squared it equal to square root of 2 to the second power and right now we're going to cancel this square root sign uh, on the right side because this is equal to 2 and uh, on the left side we have our classic uh, identity so we have x square plus 2x and plus 1 yeah equal to equal to 2 really great right now let's bring these two from our right side to left side as a result we have right here x square plus 2x and minus 1 yeah equal to equal to 0 right now we can't solve this we can solve this equation but we don't need it right now let's express this x square as a result what do we have right here x square equal to 1 minus 2x okay 1 minus 2x and this is really important expression in terms of our question because this expression will help us to reduce a power we know that we can express this second power according to the first power and it helps us a lot so this is really important really important uh, really important expression for us in the beginning i read that we need to find x to the 12th power Right now we know about x to the second power. So if we read this expression to the second power, we will have x to the fourth power. Next we will have x to the eighth power. So we can get it, we need to get closer and closer to this x to the twelfth power. Okay? So we hope you understand these thoughts. So right now we know everything about x square. Right now, if we raise both sides to the second power, we will have x to the fourth power, which is closer and closer to this x to the twelfth power. Okay, so let's do this right now. So our first step, we know this expression right here. Right now, let's find x to the fourth power. How can we find it? x square we raise to the second power on the on the left side equal to 1 minus 2x we raise to the second power. So we change nothing, we just squared both sides. Right here we have x to the fourth power on the on the left side equal to this is our uh, our identity. So we have 1 square minus 2 times 1 times 2x. Okay, and plus plus right here we have 2x we need to square it really great right now let's simplify this equation uh, this expression a little bit so we have x to the fourth power equal to 1 minus 4x and plus 4x square and plus 4x square really great and right now really interesting moment but x square equal to 1 minus 2x right here yeah so we have this equation this challenge this question right here so we need to plug in this x square instead of this x square it helps us to reduce a power we have x to the fourth power equal to 1 minus 4x and plus 4 times x square x square equal to 1 minus 2x okay so we have 1 minus 2x really great it helps us a lot it simplifies us a lot this expression so we have x to the fourth power equal to 1 minus 4x 
plus 4 and minus, we have right here, 8, 8x. So the final expression is the next one. So we have x to the fourth power equal to 1 plus 4 equal to equal to 5. And we have right here minus 4x minus 8x equal to minus minus 12x. So right now we know everything about x to the fourth power, which is really great. So we know about x to the second power, 1 minus 2x. We know x to the fourth power, 5 minus 12x. Really great. Right now let's do the same step as before and let's read this expression once more to the second power. Next we will have x to the eighth power, which is closer and closer to this x to the twelfth power, which we need to find, okay? So our second step is to find x to the eighth power. Let's do this right now. So we have right here x to the fourth power. We raise this to the second power and we need to raise this expression 5 minus minus 12x we need to raise this to the second to the second power really great right now let's do this so we have right here x to the eighth power x to the eighth power equal to and right here we need to raise this to the second power so we have right here 5 square minus 2 times 5 times 12x and plus right here we have 12x we have square. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. As a result, what do we have right here? x to the eighth power equal to, right here we have 25, minus, we have 10 times 12, we have 120x, and plus right here we have 144x square. 144x square. But, let's look right here, but x square equal to 1 minus 2x. Yeah, we have right here 1 minus 2x. So let's plug in instead of this x square, let's plug in this 1 minus 2x, which helps us a lot to reduce to reduce a power. Because uh, x square, it's really hard to evaluate, it's really hard to simplify. When we have the first power, it's much better for us. Okay, so we have x to the 8th power equal to 25 minus 120x and plus 144 times this x square, which is equal to 1 minus 2x. Okay, 1 minus 1 minus 2x. Really great. Right now, let's multiply this parenthesis. So as a result, x to the 8th power equal to 25 minus 120x plus right here we have 144. Yeah, 144 and minus we have 288. 288x. Let's simplify this a little bit. So we have right here 25 plus 144. We have x to the 8th power equal to we have 169. 169 minus, if we add this one, we have 408x, 408x. And this is really great. We know everything about x to the 8th power. We know everything about x to the 4th power. We know everything about x to the 8th power. And the last thing, the last trick right here. The next thing, we're going to multiply this x to the 8th power times x to the 4th power. As a result, when we multiply x to the 4th power times x to the 8th power, we will have x to the 12th power. The expression that we need to find, we need to we need to raise this to the 12th power. In the beginning right here, we have x to, we need to find x to the 12th power. So this is our x, we need to raise this to the 12th power. We know everything about x to the 4th power. We know about it. We know everything about x to the 8th power. So the last step is uh, multiply x to the 4th times x to the 8th power. So uh, saying in other words, we need to multiply this parentheses, this parentheses, 5 minus 12x by this one. So let's do the thing right now. Okay, so from the previous step, we called this expression as x, so we need to find x to the 12th power. We found that x to the 4th power equal to 5 minus 12x, and x to the 8th power equal to 169 minus 408, and as I told before, we need to find x to the 4th power times x to the 8th power. Let's do this right now. So we have x to the 4th power times x to the 8th power. And let's plug in this expression from the right side right here. We have 5 minus 12x, 5 minus 12x, times this one 169 minus 408x so 169 minus 408 right here we have x so when we multiply this expression on the left side we have x to the 12th power so the expression that we need to find so this is our expression that we need to find and right now let's multiply this parentheses by parentheses so let's do this right now so as a result let's multiply it step by step as a result we have 5 times 169 yeah minus 5 times 408x right here. Next we have minus 12x times 12x times 169 and plus 12x times 408x. 
Yeah, really great. Right now, let's simplify this a little bit. Let's multiply each of these each of these expressions. So we have right here x to the twelfth power equal to five times one hundred sixty nine equal to eight hundred eight hundred forty five minus. If we multiply this one, this is two thousand and forty x minus. We have right here twelve x times one hundred sixty nine equal to minus two thousand twenty eight x right here. And the last one is plus. 4,896x x squared. Really great. Right now, we can easily add this expression with x. So we have right here x and right here x. We can easily add it. So as a result, what do we have? We have x to the 12th power equal to 845. If we add the thing, we have minus 4,068x and plus this one, plus 4,896x x square. But the same trick as before. We know that x square from the previous step, x square equal to 1 minus 2x, 1 minus 2x. So this is expression from the previous step. So instead of this x square, once more, let's plug in this 1 minus 2x. So absolutely the same step as we did it before. So we have x to the 12th power equal to 845 minus 4068x plus 4,896 times x squared equals 1 minus 2x. So we have right here 1 minus minus 2x. Let's multiply this expression by this uh, by these parentheses. As a result, we have x to the 12th power equal to 845. So the same beginning, 845 minus 4,068x. And right here we have plus the same expression. So plus 4,896. And if you multiply this expression by 2x, we have minus 9,792x. Really great. Right now, this, this axis, we can easily add it, we can easily subtract it, and we can easily do the same thing with these, with these two constants. So let's do this right now. As a result, we have x to the 12th power equal to, uh, we can easily add it. We have right here 845 plus 4,896. We have 5,000. 740, 41. If we do the same thing with this one, we have 13,860, I guess. Yeah, we have 13,860 x. And really great, we find our x to the 12th power, but in the beginning we need to find the exact value of this, of this expression that we need to find. We need to find x to the 12th power, but we have right here our x. But as I told before, our x equal to square root of 2 minus 1. So let's plug in this expression instead of this x of but. Square root of 2 minus 1 equal to equal to x. So let's plug in instead of this x. Let's plug in square root of 2, square root of 2 minus 1. As a result, what do we have right here? x to the 12th power equal to 5741 minus 13860 and times this square root of 2 square root of 2 minus minus 1. Really great. All right now let's multiply this, this expression by this parenthesis. So we have x to the 12th power equal to 5741 5, minus 13,860 square root of 2 and plus 13,000 plus 13,860. Right here we can easily add it. So this one plus this one. As a result, we have x to the 12th power. But in this in this line, I'm going to write not x to the 12th power, x equal to this expression, square root of 2 minus 1. So we have square root of 2 minus 1 to the 12th power. The expression that we need to find in the beginning, yeah, right here we have this expression. So we need to find exactly the same, the same expression, okay? Square root of 2 minus 1 and equal to, if we add this 13,860 plus 5,741, we have 19,601 minus this expression. So we can't evaluate this expression. So we leave it like that. So we have 13,860 square root of 2. Really great. So this is our answer, but um, it's not enough for me. And uh, after solving this challenge, I would like to, to check this answer. So uh, let's write our final final proof to this challenge. I rate this expression. So uh, on the on the left side, I rate this expression to the 12th power according to my uh, to my calculator. I was wondering what is the, the exact value to this expression. Yeah, in decimal approximation. And when, when I plug in this expression, 
I found that this expression equal to zero. Right here we have four zeros, zero, 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 zero. We have 255, zero, eight. This is the exact value of this when we raise this to the to the 12th power. And I was wondering about my, my uh, answer because this is very huge numbers. Yeah, obviously we have right here, it looks like 0 0.44, 42, 41 to the 12th power. So something like that. Yeah. Uh, depending of the uh, square root of two, how can we find this square root of two? This is to the 12th power. It can't be equal to such a huge number. Yeah. And I was wondering how is it possible? But when I, when I, when I multiply these expressions of 13, uh, 13,860, when I multiply this expression by square root of two, so a According to a calculator, I found that this expression equal to 19,600, 19, and right here we have 9999974745. So something like that, yeah? We have right here when we multiply this expression. And then I was really happy because right here, when we subtract from here 90,601, when we subtract from here exactly this expression, as a result, this is this is a really great proof for us because when we subtract it, we have that this expression equal to when we subtract it, yeah? So this expression minus this one, uh, this is equal to 0 0.12340, 255 and 0. 08. So this is a great proof for me because I was wondering how is it possible we have right here 19,000. So how is it possible? Because right here we have we have square root of two minus one. It's not a huge numbers, and uh, when we raise this to the twelfth power, it's really hard. When we this expression is equal to thousand hundreds, uh, ten thousand, twenty thousand. Yeah, it's really it's really interesting moment. But as you can see, this expression times square root of two gives us really great really great expression and as you can see right here we we found we found our answer so we can write our answer to this challenge yeah we can write here our, our answer this is like a proof to this challenge this is it's not maybe it's not a great thing for you to to look at this calculation but this is really great proof for everyone like couldn't trust me to this to this uh, answer because we have 19,000 so how is it possible but as you can see this is a really great proof and it it means that this is a correct a correct approach so our answer is square root of 2 minus 1 to the to the 12th power equal to equal to this expression 90,000 601 minus 13,860, yeah, and square root, square root of 2. And you can easily see right now um, a calculation on the internet right here. You can see the calculations, uh, you can see these answers right now that this expression equal to equal to zero point this decimal approximation, which is which is absolutely the same that expression on the on the right side. So we hope you understand my video. I hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learn something new and I hope you this video is helpful in any way. I'm, I'm really appreciated about it. I'm really grateful when you leave your response down into the comment section, when you leave your your notes into the comment section it will be it will be really interesting so thank you for your time thank you for your support see you in the next videos and have a great day